Do you want to see how long my hair really is? Okay, watch this. Watch this. You ready? One. Two. She goes around twice. <laughs> I got this feeling rising to the ceiling. It's Christina and today I just wanted to make a short quick simple video to answer your question Does your hair typically fall out when you go on a raw vegan diet? I get this question from vegetarians vegans raw vegans I even get this question from people who are just dabbling in this lifestyle just a tad people typically ask me this question because I do have a full head of hair I call her Mufasa, she is my mane, and I haven't cut her in over seven years. When I first went fully raw, all of my hair did fall out. Now I don't want to say like all of it fell out because I didn't go completely bald or anything, but I did lose a lot of hair. My hair was definitely not as thick as it is right now, it was definitely not as healthy looking, it wasn't as full. It just looked like very frail, unhealthy, weak hair, and it wasn't able to grow long. I don't believe that all of my hair was falling out because I went raw vegan. Actually, to the contrary of that. I believe that all of my old, unhealthy hair had to fall out so that all of my new, healthy hair could grow in. You know, when you're feeding yourself a lot of fruits and vegetables, you're giving your body a lot of nutrients, proteins, mineral rich, phytonutrient rich food to help your body build and produce more amino acids, proteins, things of which your hair is made out of. Before when I was sick, my, my body did not produce healthy hair, and now it does. I truly believe that I had to cleanse and detox a lot when I first went fully raw. Like I was detoxing a lot of toxins. My body was stabilizing its blood sugars everything that comes with getting rid of an illness and becoming a healthy person, going through that transformation. I believe that all of my old unhealthy hair fell out so that all of my new healthy hair could grow in. I know a lot of people are afraid to try this lifestyle, this diet, because they're afraid of their hair falling out, they're afraid of going through detox reactions, they're afraid of going through a cleansing period where they may not look their best, perform their best, etc., etc. But the thing is, is that you have to go through that cleansing detox stage to get to the part where you really feel good and you look healthy, feel healthy, and just shine healthy, vibrate healthy, emanate healthy, all of these things. If you're afraid of your hair falling out now, ask yourself, what are you eating that is actually good for your hair, that is producing beautiful hair on your head? Because believe it or not, but there are specific foods that you can eat to make yourself produce more healthy hair. And I made a video about this not too long ago. Um, it was about the different foods that you can eat to help give yourself healthier hair. But the purpose of this video is essentially to tell you do not be afraid that your hair will fall out on a raw vegan diet. This does not happen to everybody. Not everybody is coming into this lifestyle being unhealthy or battling an illness. There are many people who are healthy who just want to transition into this lifestyle to be healthier for ethical reasons, for the animals, and so much more. I believe that you eating more fruits and vegetables is only going to help you grow more beautiful hair, have more beautiful skin, have better digestion, and more energy in your life. A lot of people get afraid when they first give up meat or dairy that their hair will fall out because there is this conception that you're not going to be getting in enough protein or fats um, to help produce healthy hair, but that is not the case at all. When you take on a fully raw diet or eat a diet that is rich in vitamins and minerals, just keep in mind it is essential to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, plenty of greens to get your protein. There are nuts and seeds, but don't go overboard. If you have unhealthy hair on your head right now, there is a possibility that a lot of it may fall off or fall out when you start really taking care of yourself. But that does not mean that it is not gonna grow back fuller, <laughs> healthier, shinier, more beautiful, longer. Your body rebuilds and restores itself every six months. 
Have faith in your body that it will do the best that it can for you at any given point. If you are losing a lot of hair on this lifestyle, you may not be consuming enough calories. Up your calorie intake, eat more fruit, eat more greens. I promise you will see a difference. As you can see right now, I am not bald. I have healthy hair. I have hair that is longer than the length of my arm. Mufasa has grown out in full force for me in the past seven, eight, nine, eleven years of eating fully raw. Yes, I did lose a lot of my hair when I first started this lifestyle, but that was unhealthy hair. All of my old hair had to eventually fall out so that new hair could grow in. And I am so grateful for that. I'm gonna be doing a lot more hair videos for you guys about what I use on my hair to keep it shiny and strong. I've already made a video about what I eat, but trust me, there are a lot more hair videos coming for you guys. I know a lot of people have questions about this and have comments about this, so if you can, leave those below and I will try to answer as many as I can. I really appreciate you guys being here with me, especially as I am doing 30 videos in 30 days, trying to answer your questions all about living this lifestyle. If you guys are going to be in Colorado or any of the cities listed right here, I'm gonna be traveling there for my book tour. So head over to my website at fullyrod.com backslash events. And I hope to see you on my book tour. So, so excited. All right, folks, don't be afraid of your hair falling out. Go eat your fruits and your vegetables. If you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun getting healthy together. If you want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. And don't forget, I'm on Snapchat and Insta stories every day at Fully Raw and Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm going to go get ready for my next video for you guys, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.